Hi, welcome to Bookie. Today we will unlock the book Crazy Like Us, The Globalization of the American Psyche. As you may have been aware, the title of this book is a play on words as it can be interpreted both as crazy like us and crazy like the US. Why is this? Waters has noticed American culture pervading the world in different countries, the ubiquitous McDonald's, the well-known Nike logo, and the Disney characters that have become a common childhood memory for many people around the world. In this era of globalization, the world's diversity is quietly diminishing, and the landscape of the planet is becoming more and more similar. For Americans, the old joke has become bizarrely true, wherever we go, there we are. However, the problem that worries Waters is that the similarity of mental illness around the world is increasing. The world is becoming more and more similar in the way it is going crazy. He argues that with the increasing speed of globalization, the mental illnesses in American culture are spreading rapidly throughout the world. Furthermore, the methods of diagnosing and treating mental illnesses that the United States exports to the world are becoming international standards. Under this unconscious influence, we are flattening and homogenizing the landscape of the human psyche around the world. In fact, people in different cultures and religions have their own understanding of mental illness, and the symptoms of mental illness are varied and unique. Ignoring these differences and applying standardized criteria to the diagnosis and treatment of mental illness will only make the situation worse. Waters traveled to Hong Kong, Sri Lanka, Zanzibar, and Japan and from these travels selected four cases of mental illness. In the book, he tells the stories of these diseases in different cultures and reveals that treatments by standardized American criteria completely ignore differences in culture and religion. The driving force behind this phenomenon is the multi-billion dollar drug industry. They sell mental illness to people for profit. In other words, they promote universal disease categories and make fortunes selling the drugs that can cure those illnesses. The author of this book Ethan Waters is an American writer and journalist who has long been devoted to nonfiction writing in psychiatry and social psychology. Some of his books have been featured in the Best American Science and Nature Writing series. Throughout his career, Waters has reported on issues such as daycare abuse scares, satanic cult conspiracies, and therapists who deliberately misled their patients. His work has aroused national discussion and reflection on related social phenomena. This book Crazy Like Us is also a report of Waters' in-depth investigation in psychiatry and psychology. Next, we will discuss stories of mental illness in detail from four countries and explore the social phenomena behind these stories. The first story, Hong Kong, China, Anorexia. The second story, Sri Lanka, PTSD. The third story, Zanzibar, Tanzania, Schizophrenia. The fourth story, Japan, Depression. Dr. Sing Lee, a psychiatrist in Hong Kong is a prominent Chinese scholar in anorexia research. When he came back to Hong Kong in the 1980s after completing his studies and training in the UK, he began to study anorexia among the Chinese population. He wondered why young well-off ladies were starving themselves. In the book, Dr. Lee tells the story of Zhao, a female patient he treated in 1988. Zhao was devastated after her boyfriend deserted her by emigrating to England and began to refuse food and skip meals. At 5 feet 3 inches and 110 pounds, Zhao was getting thinner and thinner. By the time she sought medical treatment, she weighed just 48 pounds. At that time, Zhao was nothing but skin and bones, with sunken eyes, hollow cheeks and pale cold skin, and a subnormal body temperature. Her blood pressure was low, and her heartbeat was barely 60 beats per minute, she looked sad and tired. From the results of the various tests, Zhao's symptoms were very different from those of Western anorexia. According to the standard definition of anorexia in the Diagnostic and Statistical Manual of Mental Disorders published by the American Psychiatric